Across the economy, there are mixed signals about what the future holds, but June's rail data offers a glimmer of hope. That's why we're launching the Rail Industry Overview, or RIO, which provides a window into what rail traffic tells us about the broader economy. With RIO, we're also introducing a new economic indicator, the Freight Rail Index, or FRI, which tracks economically sensitive rail car loads over time. So if you're wondering why freight rail data is so important, think of it as the pulse of an economy. When we see more traffic being moved by rail, this normally is an indication of strong consumer spending and robust manufacturing activity. On the flip side, when there's a decline in freight volumes, this normally points to or precedes an economic slowdown. Historically, FRI and GDP, they've moved closely together. Over the recent period, FRI has been gradually growing, thanks in part to strong consumer spending that has fueled growth in intermodal traffic activity across the country. This is everything moved in trailers and containers from plastic pallets to the cell phones you're holding in your hand. We'll continue to watch whether consumers are gonna pull back or if the Fed decides to cut interest rates earlier than expected, but from railroad's point of view, the economy is still chugging along.